Welcome back to another episode of No Waco. This is your host, Debbie. Welcome back to another episode of No Waco. I'm your host, Debbie. And today we have a very special guest here in the studio. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, hello. My name is Victoria Smith and I'm the owner of Dreamy Picnics. Yay! I'm so glad to finally have you on. I'm I'm looking forward to it. Um, So the way the show goes is the first question I always ask is what brought you to Waco or are you a Waco native? Tell me your journey. So I am not a Waco native. My husband actually got a job here almost three years ago. Wow. Yeah. So we moved from Houston to Waco actually a week before everything shut down. Wow. That's not great. Yeah. (laughs) Well, and I can already imagine there's kind of a culture shock coming from Houston to Waco. What was that like? What was that transition like? It was definitely a change of pace a bit, but we love it. We moved here because we wanted to raise our family in a city where it's very, very family friendly. And that's kind of what Waco has been to us. And everyone is just so nice here. Yeah, I love that. And everybody always says it's like big city feels with still like small town values. Mm -hmm. So that's one of like the biggest draws. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's been so good. And especially being able to start a business here has just been awesome. Yeah. And so you are an entrepreneur. So tell me about your business. So Dreamy Picnics is a luxury picnic company here in Waco. I offer luxury picnics for date nights or birthdays, bridal showers, Cute. whatever it might be. And then I also do kid nicks, which oh. is the cutest thing ever. Oh my gosh. It's essentially Pinterest come to life. I love that. Yes. I'm a Pinterest girly. So Don't we all. Me too. <laughs> so it's basically um, a kid style picnic. And then we have a craft that coordinates with the oh, picnic. I think I saw you posting like a little outer space one, like a little, little yes. astronaut little craft I was like oh my gosh I'm obsessed yes and sometimes I like to put a little spin on it Mm -hmm. so like your typical astronaut we did a little bit of like boho disco galaxy astronaut Mm -hmm. because it was a little girl's first birthday and like first trip around the sun play onwards that's so So cute cute. I'm obsessed with that well uh, that's so awesome and um being a female entrepreneur in Waco what has it been like in the community or getting started It's been super great. I think the community has been so welcoming and I love partnering with other businesses, photographers, Mm -hmm. just anyone and Cultivate 712. Shout out. You know, shout out. (laughs) Um, No, I I think everyone has just been so welcoming and Mm -hmm. so helpful and it's truly just been fun to start a business here. And you actually just hosted a women's networking event. So what was that like? Yeah, that was so great. Um, It really brought a lot of the women in the community together, um, not just to sell their products, but to really connect with other small businesses. And Mm -hmm. I think that's so important because we all need to support each other. And I think by everyone supporting each other, that's how we're all going to survive when these big box companies try and like Mm -hmm. take over our plans. Yeah. I think just supporting each other and it was really great. I think everyone left with at least one connection. Oh, I love that. And you're a mom first as well as an entrepreneur. Um, So what has that journey been like? Oh, it's been a fun one. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Your boys are gorgeous. I love them so much. They're adorable. So, and they're super sweet. So you've done a great job. Thank you. (laughs) Good job, mom. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. Um, Yeah, it's been a journey for sure starting it. I actually Mm -hmm. started this business because I thought like, hey, I can bring them along with me to when I need to do things. It's Mm -hmm. flexible. Um, I really got inspired by doing their birthday parties and going all out for like our four family members. Mm -hmm. Um, And I was like, well, let me just start doing this for other moms and help other moms like make their lives a little easier. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes it's like, you know, Pinterest is a complete overload. Yes. So you kind of don't know where to start. Into the abyss. (laughs) It's so hard. So you'll be like, oh, I want to do a space theme birthday Mm -hmm. or like I just did a cloud nine. Oh, so cute. cute. But there's so many different ways you can go with cloud nine. It's like, do you do rainbows? Like, do you do all white? Yeah. So I think being a mom myself, it helps me be able to help other moms. And the kids love it. They have fun. They are all for charcuterie boards now. Yay! Um, They're basically just fancy Lunchables, so I understand. Essentially. Essentially. (laughs) Yeah, so they're like, Mommy, I want a snack board. Ooh. Okay. Let me make you a little butter board real fast, baby. I have not tried those yet. I need (gasps) to try one. You gotta try one. I need to try one. I tried one with peanut butter. A peanut butter board. It was even better. Game changer. <laughs> Game, Game changer. changer. <laughs> um, well, that's fantastic. And you've worked with um, Lico's mom's blog and um, you've really been connected with the community. What has it been like? 
Um, it's just been really nice connecting with other moms, especially a lot mm -hmm. of women involved in Waco Moms. They're also working moms, yeah. whether they're doing real estate or maybe they have like a side hustle of Etsy or some sort of work. Hustle even, culture. Seriously. Or even just being a stay at home mom in general. I've also connected with a lot of moms at yeah. home school. Aww. So it's really cool to connect with so many different types of moms and just get kind of a variety of friendships going on yeah so what is your mission behind dreamy picnics my mission is to really just help people create memories and connect people not only connect people together um, but just connect the community together that's why i host these events for families mm -hmm. or for women just kind of to bring people together is my goal oh i absolutely love that and you're doing amazing work in our community yep. um with that we'll take a quick break and we'll be right back thank you and now for a word from our sponsors. Hi, this is Sarah. And I'm Carter. And this is Some of Our Thoughts. We're two Southern sommeliers, and we want to share everything we love and know about wine. We started hanging out during quarantine and cooking and drinking and listening to music and we just thought this would be a great way to bring everything we know to you guys. We will make wine knowledge and food pairings easy and approachable. So put on your favorite vinyl, grab your favorite glass of wine, tune into our show, and let's have some fun. Wine, wine and vinyl. vinyl. <laughs> so check us out on roguemedianetwork.com or wherever you get your favorite podcast. We'll be talking about a lot. <laughs> frozen, frozen heroes. Gonna tell you about frozen, frozen heroes. Gonna tell you about. Hey, I'm Zach and I'm Mike, and we have a fantastic new podcast to tell you about. Bros, foes, and heroes. It's the two of us looking into the world of comics, breaking down some characters that you may have never heard of, and some that are just absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, so Zach comes up with a character each time, and uh, I go into it just completely blind. I don't know who this person is or what their abilities are or anything, and, and basically I guess we kind of go over their origin story and just some of the ridiculous stuff that maybe especially golden age stuff oh golden yeah. age stuff is always the best and we will make sure to highlight all of the shenanigans and just absolute weirdness yeah. of everything yeah that's right so subscribe today and uh, follow us on instagram at bros bros heroes and if you don't i know where you live not really but please subscribe <laughs> bros and bros and heroes Gonna tell you about pros and foes and heroes. Gonna tell you about. Welcome to One Star Rewind a new podcast about those dreaded one-star reviews that every business owner hates to receive, but yet every customer loves to read. During this podcast, we will peel back that one-star review to better understand how it happened, when it happened, and what the business owner is doing after receiving that one-star review. This podcast will be about love, hate, and laughter. On One Star Rewind, we will meet with real business owners will tell their stories and how they do rely on reviews for their business. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or download us at roguemedianetwork.com. Please subscribe, but only rate and review for not a one-star review. Join us each time for a new review and a new story. to the episode.
<laughs> All right. And we're back. So we're just talking about how your mission behind your business is to bring our community together and bring people together for events. Um, I know that our community is ever evolving and changing. So why do you think it's important that you're here in Waco right now? I think it's so important to just connect right now as our city grows. That means more people are coming and it's just really important to really have that family and connection and friends that can help you grow as this community gets bigger. Oh, yes. And especially because I feel like a lot more chain stores are going to start moving in, mm -hmm. maybe even like chain picnic companies, who knows. But the end goal is like, let's support all the small businesses and make it harder for the big people to yeah. take over. Yeah, and I love that mission. Um, speaking of more people coming in, what is something you would like to see more of in the community? I would just love to see more glam parties. Ooh, okay. I'm all for it. <laughs> so, like, I I follow all these um, accounts from California. Mm -hmm. They're so inspiring. <laughs> like, they're just crazy. But that's my that's my goal. Like, let's bring some glam. Mm -hmm to Waco mm -hmm. and let's do these crazy parties and crazy events and let's just like do make it. it big and bold. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Yeah. And as for, you know, starting out 2023, what are some of your goals that you're hoping to achieve this year? Oh, I have so many goals. Do you have a resolution? <laughs> you know, I feel I like said, a lot of people said no this year, so I don't know. I feel like I set a lot of different goals. That's for, like, good. No, that's throughout good. The year that I can like hopefully hit. I definitely like, overall personally I just want to be more present and just be more present with the kids and with my husband and just like Aww. in friendships but then for like business I have I have so many things in mind <laughs> that's good that I had to like reel myself in and be like hold on I made a vision board every year so I, I do that too <laughs> oh my I gosh because I feel like it just sets like the tone yeah exactly I feel the same way it does I love that it's good so I'm like okay for Dreamy Picnics, I would just really love to continue to expand my name in the community. So, like, if someone is like, oh, yeah, I have a party or I am wanting a special date night or mm -hmm. a proposal, <gasps> please Ooh. someone hire me for a proposal. Like, that's all I want is wow. a proposal. I love that. I, I literally <laughs> see them in Cameron Park as I'm setting up a picnic for someone oh. else. But I could make their lives so much easier. It's just true. hire me before. And then I take all the nerves away from you. Exactly. Then you just got to show up and do the thing. Yeah, exactly. You can't mess it up. Exactly. <laughs> so I just want people to like know my name if that's their go-to. Like, yeah. oh, Dreamy Picnics. Do you hear that? Victoria. Everybody listening? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Proposals? Anybody out there? We need we need a couple proposal ASAP. Yes. Yes. <laughs> if I was already people. been married for like 10 years, I would. <laughs> I mean, I'm at the point We could now. do a double. <laughs> double yes. Proposal. I'm at the point now. I'm like, hey, Jake, why don't you just repropose to and me there you go. um that we'll would have do. another marriage <laughs> and we'll do it like an elopement style. if i would have known what i know now back when i got married things would have been so different it would have been crazy it would have been you probably would have saved so much money i probably would have saved so much money yeah and also i would have had amazing it would have been so much more amazing right? so where was i i know right were why were i don't know you weren't even here i don't know <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry no Please it's fine me. um but yeah it's amazing that you have um some really good set goals coming up in the future um and so far it looks like you're doing amazing so um you're doing a wonderful job um you've hosted many events um especially locally and then especially again with this women's networking event it's really just been um you know so touching to get to see an opportunity for women in Waco to really just join together and connect um what do you think is one of your um biggest things that you're trying to accomplish here in Waco I think just my biggest thing to accomplish here would have to be really just helping people create memories mm -hmm. um i would ideally love like if we're talking business talk i would love like a storefront space maybe Aww. not necessarily storefront but yeah like a smaller venue um i think waco definitely needs some smaller spaces because we do have some amazing large spaces mm -hmm. it's just sometimes hard when you yeah. have only like three people or, just start people. Out. Yeah. Yeah. or you're just starting out or maybe you're having like a smaller and more intimate gathering mm -hmm. and then you have this huge space mm -hmm. around you so <laughs> I completely understand that um what is some advice that you would give to other women in the community or what is some advice you would give to other entrepreneurs wanting to start something 
I would say just connect with everyone you can and be nice. Yeah. Um, I think it's so important to just be genuine and be nice. And while we all are hungry for a business or we all have goals that we want to reach, I think it's just truly so important that you can connect personally with people yeah. um, and just be yourself. Because at the end of the day, people are hiring you. Yeah. And while you may offer some great services, you definitely need to just be kind. Yeah. Oh, I love that. And that's a wonderful way to put it, especially when, you know, we're getting involved with our community. Um, it sounds like you already have some amazing resources and have become pretty well connected. Is there anyone you want to shout out to, that has helped you along this journey? Um, I would say you can shout out your mom, your dog, or your grandma, but you can <laughs> shout out anybody. Well, of course, like hubby jacob mm -hmm. number one he always comes in clutch yeah whether he's like helping with balloons he or did whatever. do the heavy lifting so he does, he does a lot of the heavy lifting um but i think be kind coffee has been oh. so great um, shout out alex yes. alex will love you guys yes. and they have their new storefront open yes soon, coming on so washington funny. avenue um and then you know alexis with waco mm -hmm. balloon co has love been her great. so much um, a and R Modern Bounce House shout out. Yay. Um, I have so I feel like I have so many I want to shout out. That's um, the problem. You cultivate can cultivate yeah. seven twelve. Shout out. <laughs> and now no wake up. <laughs> um, but no, that's so amazing. I'm so glad you've really just gotten involved in the community. Um, is there any other advice you would give anybody trying to network, or what are some ways that people can get involved? I think just don't be afraid to slide into those DMs. Honestly. I mean, honestly, that's how I met you. <laughs> it's true. Is I slid into your DMs and then shot you an email. Yeah. So, like, you never know who you're going to connect with. Mm -hmm. And I think just don't be scared to, like, be like, hey, I saw your stuff on Facebook or Instagram. You're cool. Or be whatever. my friend. <laughs> yeah. Because seriously, like, I say that to people all the time. I'm like, oh, I saw your stuff. Or like, I'll literally only know people by their Instagram Same. Handles. Yeah, that happens to me. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. Wait, what's your Instagram handle? And then I'm like, oh, then you put You have a Facebook real name. Thing. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, You're yeah. a real human being. <laughs> Who right? knew? Finally. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's what happened a lot at the mm -hmm. women's networking event is like a lot of women had followed me mm -hmm. and then they were like, oh, cool, an event. And then they came and... I was like, oh, I'm Dreamy Picnic. So like, oh, you're Dreamy Picnic. Yeah. So I think when you put like that face to the to social media, it just makes all the difference. Yeah. Well, yeah. I love that so much. And I really just um, appreciate what you're doing. And, you know, again, if you're having any events coming up or anything like that, Dreamy Picnics is your gal. She will be there in a heartbeat. Um, and you also do some gorgeous little um, hammer jewelry, right? Tell me about yes. that. So I actually do that as an add-on. Mm -hmm. um, I do a lot of local pop-ups where like boutiques will host them and then I'll kind of come do my picnic setup. Cute. Or we did them at a birthday party, which mm -hmm. was great. Great. Um, super fun add on. You just get to like the, take a steel hammer and mm. hammer right there in. There you go. Your initials, <laughs> a little shade. <laughs> you know, it sounds a little dangerous, but it's okay. It's fun. It's yeah, safe. It's, it's fun. all secure. It's safe. I'm, yeah. I'm there to guide you. Be you're, a guide. You're our, 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 yeah. our guide through this journey yes. of life and yes. picnics, if you will. Yes. And I like to add on like crafts and different mm -hmm. types of things to not only kid parties, but to adults. Yeah. Picnics as well. In your picnic, it's included like a little mini canvas Aww. you get to paint. So I actually had a client who they were really artsy and mm -hmm. that was like one of their favorite things Aww. was the little art canvas, which to me, I was like, oh yeah, it's an art canvas, but to someone that's so special. So yeah. oh, I love that so fun. much. And where can we find information? Where can we find more information? Where can we find you? Give us all the plugs. Tell us all the ways. <laughs> I am all over the place. Um, so my website is where you can directly book. It's super easy booking. I have different packages for you to choose from at different price ranges. Um, and then Streamy Picnics with a S-T-X dot mm -hmm. com. And then I have my Instagram, Dreamy Picnics TX, or Facebook, Dreamy Picnics TX. Um, and, oh, I'm on TikTok, too. <gasps> TikTok. Um, we love us some TikTok. TikTok is a little bit unhinged, but it's <laughs> Dreamy Picnics TX on there as well okay perfect so essentially just well, i know what i'm gonna go home and binge i'm gonna scroll so much yeah it's it's it, we're working on it um i, I love like, that yeah i like to think i'm younger than i am when i'm Same. creating these and then my husband is like very humbling so just tell me my husband is as well like, you know what He's like, I don't have time to see this right now. Why? Why? Well, he doesn't get it. I'm like, he doesn't get it. Yeah, more. exactly. You're not even on it. You well. don't understand. So, yeah. But dreamypicnicstx.com, mm -hmm. 
main place to book. Yeah, and don't forget to slide in your DMs, right? Yes, slide, slide in. Slide in. My DMs. Oh, <laughs> and I have to mention, um, we're having a Galentine's picnic. <gasps> yes, tell me yes. all about that. So, um, Galentine's picnic. February 12th, mm-hmm. 2 to 4 p.m., Anniversary Park. We're going to have Loud Lacquer oh. there. You get to mix your own nail polish. Um, and then We had get, them on the show. They're fantastic. Yes. Shout out. Oh, she's so great. And then, and it's so much fun. Mm-hmm. Seriously, so much fun. Um, and then you have your personal charcuterie box. Mm-hmm. And then I'll have, like, an exclusive photo backdrop. Right. And that's February 12th, 1 to 4. Get your tickets now. Yes. Okay, I'm so looking forward to that. Um, is there anything else you wanted to share with our listeners today? Just that I appreciate everyone. <laughs> and thank you so much for letting me live out my yes. podcast dreams. I'm so glad. And, you know... <laughs> You basically are a professional. You're coming for my job next, so it's fine. No, no. <laughs> um, well, thank you so much for coming on. I'm really looking forward to these upcoming events you're hosting um, and all of the exciting things you're doing for our community. And again, I just wanted to thank you for, um, you know, creating a safe space for women in our community to join together um, and just continue to grow um, our small business and entrepreneurship circle. It's just fantastic seeing young women and mothers and you know, entrepreneurs just starting their businesses and really just doing it here in our community. Um, So it's honestly inspiring. Oh, thank you so much. And thank you for being so supportive. I so appreciate you. Yeah, of course. Um, Well, thank you again. Thank you. Find us everywhere on all social media platforms, K-N-O-W underscore Waco. Check us out at RogueMediaNetwork.com and we're on YouTube under Rogue Media Network. Check out NoWaco.com.